And then if you can go live on the Instagram. But you're gonna do you're gonna do the, the intro right now, right? Yep, yeah. I'm gonna do the intro. Okay, so not right now. Like don't play it just I can still play the music though first, or are you gonna do the intro right yeah, now? Yeah, you can play the music, sorry, for four like like about four minutes and then I'll I'll talk. I'm just gonna wait for latecomers. Okay. Yeah. And you're on, on Instagram? Yes. Ooh. I'm going live now. Yeah. Yay. Hey everyone, we're gonna start in about three minutes. So just take a quick water break, get some water beside you, and we'll start with Tara. Yeah, I'm going to actually catch what is on Welcome, welcome everybody. What do we have here? There's some people, there's some people. Welcome to the class. I'm Tamar. Nice to meet you. And hey Tamar, do you mind if you actually um just write um on a comment on your own Instagram live, June 23rd, intro face? Mm -hmm. with Tamar, and then you can actually pin it um, on the comments. Have you done that before? No. Yeah, what day is it today? Today is the 23rd, June 23rd. June so right 23rd. June 23rd. Yep. Um, intro face with Tamar. With you. And then you should, once you press, once you enter it, you should be able to look at the comment you just made. And on the, there should be three dots. You should make, be able to make a little pin on your comment. So it would bring it up to the first thing. So I post it and then pin it? Yeah, post it on, and then pin it. Ooh. Work. I feel so young. <laughs> Fancy. Okay, so I'm going to do. Hi, all 20 of you. Hi, Irv, legendary Irv. So, Tamar, I'm just going to do a quick intro before we start. So, if you could just pause that beat for a second. No problem. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, my name is Rafa Skimel, and I'm the founder of Van Vogue Jam. Um, today we have a really amazing guest. We have Tamar all the way from Toronto uh, teaching us a face, uh, intro to face. Face, look at that beat. Yes, all the way. And the six out, yes, work. Okay, um, so really quick before we start, um, we just wanna do a quick land acknowledgement of where I'm at in Vancouver, where Vancouver Van Vogue Gem is based. Um, we are here at the unceded territories of the Muspium, Squamish, and Soil Tooth Nations, where we live, we work, and we vote. Um, I also want to acknowledge the history of ballroom culture, it coming from Latin, um, Latinx and Black trans and queer peoples of Harlem, um, as especially in this month, like every other month, we should remember where ballroom comes from. Uh, I'll let Tamar do the rest. Here you go. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. There's more people than I expected. Um, I am a little nervous because it's all like on the internet, but we'll be okay. Um, if there's any questions, please put them in the comments and we will get to them. I have my best friend of 20 some odd years, um, Zanika here with me, and she's going to help me with um, all the technology stuff because I am no good. So um, the fundamentals of face. So to start, I'm going to go over what the five elements of face are. And I, sorry, excuse me. And I also, for me, I have a sixth element. So um, it is the eyes, 
your nose, your teeth, your skin, and your structure. So it's all of the above. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, you understand that, right? Because I'm asking my best friend if she understands because she's not from ballroom. So I'm asking her if she understands as I go along because I've never talked to someone that has like no idea about ballroom. Um, and the sixth element, element, the sixth element that um, I consider a part of it is how you sell it, the art of selling it. It's great if you have face, um, but if you can't sell it, it's a waste. So um, let's see. Where should I start? So there's different, um, okay. This is how you should know if face is for you or if it's not for you. I, this is like the first hint if it could be for you. It might not just be if you're cute or not. Yes, my sister, um, the legendary Roxy Yaki Muglera says attitude, okay? So it's very, very important. So going back, if you are walking face and you are, if you are considering walking face and you've not been told by the opposite sexes, so the, those are people that could be attracted to you, or not attracted to you, how gorgeous you are on almost a daily basis, this is not the category for you. It is supposed to be unattainable beauty. You're not supposed to be, to, you're not supposed to be able to relate to the common person because of how gorgeous you are. And this is just on the runway. Does that make sense? You want to make sure that you feel unrelatable because of how beautiful you are. You don't want to be able to be relating to those that do not have face because face is really the highest honor in all of ballroom. So keep that in mind for those that are interested in walking face. Um, <clears throat> so I have a little formula that I teach my kids um, in the house of Louboutin, Canada. I am I'm the overall mother um, of Canada or um, the house of Louboutin. Sorry, I had some wine. It's all work in progress. It's Corona. Um, but yeah, so there's a little formula that I have. Can you just to be horny. Like, you know, if you can me over the um over the music, okay? Maybe some volume. You guys can hear the music and me, right? Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, no, yes, no. We'll try. Okay. So this is how my basic formula goes, actually. I'll tell you first, you wanna have a strong entrance that demands like attention. You're here, command, you stand your ground, you give them whatever, then you give them how you work your way up, get somewhere towards the middle, anyways, like middle to a quarter way up to the judges panel, anywhere in between there, you stop and you give more and then you deliver with your skin and teeth. So from the back, you wanna see presence because we can't see your skin from the back of the runway. We can't see your teeth necessarily from the back of the runway, um, but we can see, we can feel your presence and how you're opening up to, sell, to selling a space, right? So for starting in the back, you start, you are being judged from the moment your big toe back on, the, from the moment you're seen basically. Fall off in the room. And you wanna make sure that when the door busts open, that you feel like, Something, something. So whatever you're gonna sell, whatever you're feeling in the back, it could be a moment, it could be whatever, it could be whatever, it could be whatever. So just make sure whatever you do in the back, it is strong, okay? Strong and commands the press, commands the attention of everyone in the um, in the ballroom, okay? So you want to create that energy from the back with you just walking out. Yes, girl, the door. Sell it from the door, Corta. Um, so, sell it from the door. This is moment number one. You create your big thing, whatever, whatever. However you're gonna sell it. It's like when you're voguing and you charge up, you're charging up back here. So you're soaking in the light and then making your way up. Making your way up. Making your way up. So anyways, can you pause that for a second? Is it kind of making sense? Is it kind of making sense? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, so again, moment from the back, stomp your ground. Once you feel the audience is like, you know, the audience and the judges have, you have their attention, that's when you start making your way up and you take your time. The great thing about being a face girl is that we are really on your clock. Thank you. We are really on your clock. So. Don't make us wait forever and get bored. 
but make sure that you milk it. It's all, <laughs> my producer's chewing it. <laughs> it's all about milking it, right? Making sure you find what works for you. So before you end up walking face, no, not yet. No. Um, so again, we're gonna go through the steps again. You are grand entrance, bam, wait it out, milk it, wait it out, milk it. Now they're ready for you, now sell. So here's the light. And the thing about the light is that without the light, you would not have face. So you must. And yeah, you can't see the shit without the light. So you, everyone that has space must, all, I don't like to use the word worship, but worship is the only way that I can really get my point across. You want to really use the light as your um, light source. You know what I'm saying? Like as your energy source rather. So wherever there's a light. So there's a bright light right behind my camera. So, and usually if you're at a, at a ball, maybe in the States, the cameras are behind the judges as well. So you want to make sure that that clip that you're getting is going to be nasty, right? So now you can see with this angle, I know my cheekbones are showing. All the highlight that I've done here is showing. So this is gonna be a good angle for me to sell to the judges. Are we making sense? Hi, Sash. Dr. Pendergrass, <laughs> Um, So yeah, are we on the same page so far? Make sure you share the live, make sure you're interactive. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, face is not for everyone. However, just because you might not walk this category does not mean that you can't learn how to teach a friend that might have that, um, that, that natural it factor, right? So, oh, and we're now ushering in the Canadian legend herself, uh, legendary Nala, um, I think legendary godmother Nala Magnifique, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, um, and my daughter, Jer uh, my daughter Jasmine Yakin <laughs> Mugler, who will be giving us a quick demo in a little bit. Okay, so let's pump the beat one more time. And then after I'm gonna do it like a few more times, I'm going to go ahead and um, um, probably call Jasmine to give you guys a demo, because I don't walk face, I'm just a great teacher. <laughs> So in my cheekbone, my nose, my skin, how soft it is, my hair, how flowy it is. And when you're laughing on these hoes, it's to show how straight the lining of your teeth is. It's not to laugh on hoes, bitch. It's to prove that your teeth the, 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 the profile of your teeth are superior, okay? That's why the girls laugh like that. Don't laugh like that if your teeth don't give that. Okay, face is not for everyone. Govern thyself accordingly, okay? I am a slave, and I added this effect for no reason. But yeah, sell, sell, sell when you get to the judges panel. Sell. Flirt with your eyes. My nails are, oh, hop. How's the beat for a second, Gwen? So, selling aside, selling aside, there are so much more things um, involved with face than just selling it, okay? 
and having it. Face is really a lifestyle, okay? It's not something that if you want to do well in, as in walk for $10,000, um, put me up in the glare ball. Um, it's just not for every, like it's not for everyone. You have to actually make it a lifestyle. So water is really your best friend. To walk face, it has to come from the inside because you actually have to feel good in order to look good. And like all your skincare, your teeth, um, taking care of your hair, how you smell, that all goes into face. If I see some, if I see a beautiful woman walking face and her nail, her nails look like she um, scratches like rocks, girl, it's clear. I'm so sorry. You're not giving me unattainable beauty. Okay. If your teeth are not white, I'm so sorry. I can relate. People can relate to yellow teeth, brown teeth, no teeth. Right? So you want to feel like everything about you is so pristine. The like quintessential, superficial ideal of perfection, if you will. It's very subjective. This is just what I look for when I judge face. Other judges might look for different things. But from what I've studied, when I had to, because I had to teach my own kids about face because they're all new, right? So when I had to teach my own kids, I had to go and look at what do the judges like? What do they look for? Who does well and why? What is their formula, right? So it all goes down to management, like in creating a, a game plan and figuring out what will work, especially for the kids that you have. Um, so I do relate to yellow teeth. I'm not sure if that's Venus or a different Venus. I don't think it's Venus, Venus, because legendary Venus, don't give that. Okay, hi, Jaina. So um, again, the five elements of face are the eyes, the nose, the teeth, the skin, the structure. And my magical six is presentation, how you bring it. So please make sure you're drinking your water, as in like OD on the water, OD on the water. Like when you think it's too much, bitch, keep going, okay? One, two, a great skincare routine. Everyone needs one, whether you walk face or you don't walk face. Everything that is beautiful can sell, bitch. Let me tell you, okay? If it looks like a duck, baby, it can be sold. So make sure your skincare routine is on. If you don't know how to get a proper skin skincare routine to make sure that you look good, okay? Please research, go on YouTube and figure out what kind of skin, skin type you have. Oh, I have acne on my forehead. How to get rid of acne on my forehead. Or, oh, I have dry, dry skin here. What products can I use to not look so ashy? Okay, there's, there's remedies for the girls. Hyaluronic acid, you need it. Get into it. Thank me later. Okay, fillers, thank me later. Okay, retinol, thank me later. Okay, okay, chapstick, thank me later. Okay, okay, SPF, let's talk about it. Let's go there. Okay, let's go there. Let's take it there. SPF, how you do, if you're black, you still need SPF. Frat best friend, give me your arm. Even if you are this complexion, okay, okay, okay. You also need SPF. Do not think that you're immune, okay? Because you are not. You are not. Get a facial, bitch. Save 10 bucks every other week. And in six months, get a facial, okay? Hello, let's talk. Let's go there. Okay, I also, and this is a personal preference when I am judging, okay? When I'm judging, what am I looking for as a judge? I don't want to be able to relate as the common person. So if I see somebody walking face and they're in a haggard synthetic wig, it's very relatable, very affordable, very affordable. It almost gives me borderline Vogue femme tees. So if I can see Paul Miyaki Mugler wearing that bob girl, I am not a fan. I'm not subscribing. Unattainable beauty. You cannot touch me. You cannot afford me. Even if the answer was yes, it's still a no. Okay, that's how you want to feel. Like it might not be honest to you in your real life, but it's about turning on a character, right? Every ca every category has its own version of drag, right? Drag is just becoming something that you're not in my mind, not naturally, putting on a show. Um, I don't like a washed face face category because it's not interesting. Um, Maybe if it was like legendary face, bring it washed face, because obviously the legends, we've all seen them and know them very well. They've paid their dues and been painted from day one. But um, for the new girls, I don't really like seeing unpainted face. I don't think there's a really, I don't think there's a point because there's no production value. Um, but please make sure that if you are walking face, you are um, doing your research and figuring out how the face girls live. Hi, father, Twisted Miyake Mugler. Um, yeah, first of all, look at how the girls live versus how um, 
how they walk and you like and perform that we can see what works for them and figure out what formula works for you. For me, when I walk drags realness, I look at women to emulate myself after, not drags necessarily because I'm trying to emulate a woman, right? Um, if I'm walking face, which I've only walked once, um, I have to see how women sell it and femme queens sell it. I don't necessarily want to sell it like a drag face girl because not necessarily all the drag face girls are real, right? So those are the kind of things that work for me and don't work for me. Hey, I can't wear synthetic hair walking face. Ebony, you can do whatever you want, girl. This is just how I judge. Like I was in Mon I was in Montreal and there's one of my favorite girls in Montreal. I'm not gonna say her name because I don't want her to feel badly about this, but she, she walked perfect tens. She walked perfect tens with a synthetic situation. And to me, it was, it just didn't give that for me. Like beautiful girl, beautiful, beautiful girl, but I'm just so sorry. It looks cheap. If you can turn it out and make it look over, then surprise me. Like there's some synthetic units that really, you know, that really do look good. There are. I'm not being classist. I'm saying what I look for when I'm when I'm judging face. Face face is not a cheap category. It's not affordable at all all the time. It's not easy. Will I chop you just because you're wearing a synthetic wig? No, if your wig is chewing it and it's synthetic, girl, you will get my tens. If you are selling the fuck out of your situation, girl, you will get you you have earned my tens. I'm not un, I'm not unrealistic, you know, like. I don't expect everyone to pour $10,000 into a look or $1,000 into a look or $500 into a look. I'm not expecting that, but I'm just saying face isn't an expensive category. It's a beauty category. Well, that's what you look for as a judge. I just look for different things. I want to feel unattainable beauty and I don't want to be able to relate to those walking face. It depends. Obviously there's like categories can call for anything, right? Bring it, uh, bring it as, I don't know, a water ad, an ad for a bottle of water, you know? There's different things. And obviously you can't be like, if you're selling Nestle Pure Life, you can't bring it in like a ball gown. But at the same time, I want to, I want to feel lux luxury from you if you're walking face. Not bum, not average, not the girl next door who happens to be kind of cute. I want to feel that you've woken up the room. The room is brighter because you're in it, if that makes sense. Are we all on the same page? Everyone understands what I'm saying. This is what I look for. Again, face is very subject. Volume in general is subjective. Some people think some people have face. Some people think some that same person might not have face. So you win some and you lose. It is very subjective. Very subjective. Okay. Um, let me see if I can get Jasmine on here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, for those of you that are on the YouTube, I'm actually trying to do it on, um, on Instagram Live. There it is. Yeah, that's the one. And she's just going to do a cute little demo. Hi, Dora. Um, for those of you, of you that are not on um, the Instagram Live right now, um, her Instagram is Jeremy, sorry, at jeremy.pdf. J E R E M I E dot PDF. Thank you so much for coming on here and helping me do a little demo, Dwoda. Um, so she is also a drag and she walks drags, to be honest, and drag space here in Canada and um, also in the States and is a, uh, what do we call you again? The eye counselor? What do they call you? Legendary Slitch? Legend Slayer? Something, girl. She slays the girl, she wins, she comes home with the coin every single time. So congratulations to you again, Don. I'm very, very proud of you. If you could, I'm going to play a beat here. Can you play the beat for me, please? Um, and if you could just sell it. Do you want me to like, go? Actually, can you, like, can you follow this on your, um, can you follow this Instagram so I can put it for the screen here on your phone? Van Vogue Jam? Van Vogue Jam or Jam Vogue Van? Ah! Van Vogue Jam. I got it right. You want me to watch the live? Yeah. Live, but turn down the, the volume and then play the beat for me. So I'm just gonna try and show everyone actually. Yeah, I'm gonna try and show you guys here what Jeremy or uh, Jasmine's doing. That's okay, we're all at home, girl. Life sucks.
Sorry, we have a commercial. Do you want to vote in the meanwhile? <laughs> oh, yes, please. Okay, ready, Jazz? From the back. Bring it in, bring it into the frame and sell it for me. Okay, this is so lagged. I can't even show you guys. I'm so sorry. It's not even working out, but okay. can you hear the music, Jazz? Her moment from the back, taking her time and milking it. Skin, now she has a judges panel in my mind. She's telling you skin, presence, elegance, structure, and she smiles. You can see them pearly white, absolutely. Tens, 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 tens across the board. Okay, let's pause that. Jasmine, can you please explain? Um, and hopefully the people on this other, um, on the YouTube can hear. If you're able to, can you explain what you go through in your mind right before you walk out to walk face? Yeah, um, there's four things, four or three things that helped me in the very beginning. Take your time, that's the most important thing. It, it's, it's, you feel rush, it looks rush. And like, Obviously, you have anxiety and you're nervous and stuff, but you have to, like, counterpart that because you want it to look like this is your moment. You're taking your absolute most time. It's all about everybody's waiting for you. Everyone's waiting for you. The bell of the ball. Right. So take your time. Make your moment at the start because it's your first impression, right? You don't know who else is in the room, who's never seen you walk face before, who's never seen you in general. So you want to make a moment, whatever that be. So that kind of, like, where I came in. I touched it, I felt it, you know, I'm in my essence, I'm in my moment. And as she's doing that, her, as, as she's selling you, so for those who can't see her, she's going like this, from the back, and like just touching herself softly, X, Y, Z, and smiling when she's coming up, and being flirty and stuff like that. So when she's coming up, she's kind of um, enticing the judges, like, engaging like come here like come hither kind of vibes you know um and as she gets closer you, the beauty becomes more like visual like you can see it closer you can smell her perfume you can see her manicure her nails are done like you can see the fine details so from the back you gave that presence you brought it back and i saw when you brought it to the judges you went down and became intimate with the judges and gave eye contact eye contact eye contact right can we do that one more time Right, right, right. Um, beautiful. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Thank you so much again, and Dota for helping me out with this girl because um just press play. I'm letting you know everything I learned is from Tamar and that's my house. So really put it work. So listen. Love you. Love you. Do it again, no bitch. Do it again. 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 <laughs> Start it all over. Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. I'll do it on this camera. <laughs> Yeah. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <sighs> I wish you had some butch queen. I just need a butch queen in my life. What do you mean about these titties tonight? In the name of Samantha James, Cookie Turkey. Um, I wish we had a butch queen on here that walks, um, yeah, Jasmine walks face, Batuman, Aura. Um, obviously one Jasmine girl, this is her category. I'm just the teacher girl. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't walk, I don't walk face. I just, produce results, that's all. I just 
you know. <laughs> um, so I don't have a butch queen in my life. So I can only really do, it, it really is very similar, to be honest with you, when I'm teaching um, the butch queens in my house. Same formula, I still have the moves to deliver that kind of a lesson, um, unfortunately. But um, I did ask Devonte, but Devonte's unavailable, Ebony. Um, he was he was my first call. He was my very very first call, but he's unable to. Um, let me think. What else is there to go over? Um, oh, I'm gonna tell you guys about the care package that I had when I started when I started the House of Louboutin. Oh, thanks, Jazz. You can go now. Love you. I'll call you later. Make sure to give Jasmine a follow, please. Again, it's Jeremy.P-E-F-J-E-R-E-I-E. Anyways, <laughs> Ebony says she would she would have um she would have um can you yeah, can you call Joel? Joel's supposed to be on the live somewhere. Um but regardless, so yeah, part of the care package when I started my house was I knew that at least I can find beautiful people, right? Finding people that are like amazing at voguing here in Canada is very difficult because they're already in the house of Siriano or they're already at Disney. Um, and those are the Kiki houses. So um, it's very difficult for me to sell someone to come to my house, was very difficult for me to sell someone to come to my house as a voguer. Um, so at the beginning, I'm just like, well, what I can do is find beautiful people and at least sit some legends in their own category for a face. And realness, I already have that. Um, so I don't really walk realness here in Canada because I don't really find um, there to be a, a real reason yet. Um, for the past few years, there hasn't really been, you know, much really going on here in Toronto um, regarding that. He's here calling. Okay, thank you. Regarding that category. Anyways, um, but yeah, so I included crest whitening strips in the care package. You can go to Joel. Um, I included um, crest whitening strips in the care package, like a box of them or like a bunch of them. Um, and they do work. I honestly have gotten J O or J X. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've gotten professional whitenings done before and paid over a thousand dollars. I'll work. I've gotten professional whitening done before. And honestly speaking, I find that crest whitening strips work out a lot better for me um, and my whole house. Like they love them, things working for them. Um, do I have any to just sell it, Miss Mamas? Anyways, yeah, I can't see it, so I'm squinting in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, so let's go over this again. Um, there's not really a lot to do for a phase um, except for having it and knowing how to sell it. So another thing you can do to work on selling it is do a lot of work in the mirror or a lot of selfies. So I'm looking at my phone right now or the Instagram and this um, laptop and I can kind of see <clears throat> what angles work for my face, right? Because the worst, what you don't want is to be read on Facebook in the fucking ballrooms, clips and dips group, girl, um, when you can't find your light and you're a face girl. Yeah, um, if you, yeah, if you can't find light in your face, girl, there was this girl named Taryn Balenciaga. I think she was premiering that night um, in Chicago, I think it was. And she was battling Candy and Candy Mugler from uh, New Orleans. And the Balenciaga girl didn't find her light. And that's really the reason why, um, like, I think she lost is because you didn't even find your light. So doing work in the mirror preferably a bathroom mirror because it has like usually even lighting. You can kind of see when you tilt your head up, how does the light hit me? Here, 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 here. If I turn here, how does the light hit me? Right? Here, 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 a little bit here and on the tip of my nose and a little bit in here. A little bit. So you want to keep that in mind that you want to make sure that the, you are always conscious Conscious? Conscious of where the light is. So right now I have a light here, right behind the camera, right behind the, um, the camera. So if I turn this off, if I turn this off now, the light that I have is coming from the kitchen, which is over there. This is like really shady ass lighting. But yeah, the lighting is over there. And so that's where I would sell it to. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that on that. 
Uh, my dentist told me to just use Crest versus going to her. Yes, I'm telling you, the Crest whitening strips actually do the do. They actually work. I love them. I swear by them. Like, I had braces. I never had like, these are not veneers or anything. And I had um, I had braces when I was in high school, and then I just did the Crest whitening strips. My teeth are white. Hi, Saya. Okay, let's do it again. I don't have much to do. I'm just gonna do this like one or two more times. And that's really it, Miss Thing. I wish I could I wish I could have um some people come on this live. Uh, see, Roxy's wearing hers right now. I have mine in my bag. I always have them. Like they're so important. Like your smile, even if you don't walk face, you want to be presentable. Like in my house, we have exercises. It's okay. We have different exercises that we do um, to try and incorporate all different categories um, just so you can learn to sell it. So I don't walk performance. I don't walk runway. I don't walk face. My producer's going through it. <laughs> Down there. Lower, 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 lower. Get low. What's going on? Ah! Okay, everything just stopped working. Well, I don't know what to do. Wait, literally nothing's working. Unplug it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, the TV? Donna Summers, don't do it, girl. That was a lot. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Shailene. Shailene actually walks face. Shailene, do you want to come on live and show us what it means to walk face en français dans Montréal? She's a Montreal face girl, and she also walks old way. Old way is like... <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't even dance to that. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I can't remember what I was talking about before that like freakish moment happened where the TV wouldn't turn off. Um, can you play that from your phone? <clears throat> so yeah, I'll take this to the bathroom for a second actually. Actually, I just kind of want to show you what it means to like but it kind of means to like study your face. I always like feel when I'm doing someone's makeup, especially I'll feel your face, feel where your bone structure is. Feel like look in the mirror, see what works for you. Pull your hair, your hair back. Pull your hair back. And really take a good look at yourself in, the, in a, a, a good light so you can really see who you are and what you have to work with, right? So hair's off my face. My wig is really cheap. <laughs> um, come on here, come out from under my wig, girl. Okay. So you wanna make sure that when you are studying your face, it is available and open. You can kind of see I have like not a lot of neck, like you know, I used to make fun of me. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a long neck. But you want to make sure that when you are selling, especially when you're at the judges panel, like you guys are my judges basically. When you're at the judges panel, you're using your angles to like sell it. Sell it. <laughs> sell your best angles, right? Just like taking selfies. You want to make sure that where the light is, it's like really good and i also teach my kids also to control your breathing so like say oh control your breathing to show emotion like to show feeling and tension and like you can like have loose arms you can have tight arms you can like you know touch yourself to show how soft you are you can you know there's people that like, a lot of people that vote like my sister um chanel nyakamugla she's very like like very draggy about, like, yeah, like very dramatic about how she sells space. Same with Naja Nyakimugler, triple legend. 
um, the way she used to sell space, she kind of busting through like, like, boom. You know, like she's very dramatic with her hands when she's selling face and that works as well. It's more of an old school. Yeah, space with the performance. Oh yeah, space with the performance. That's what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, that's what she she kind of gives. So as I was saying before, the TV um, did all that funny shit. Thank you so much, Roxy. Um, <clears throat> at my practice, we do face with performance, face with runway, or sorry, performance with face, performance with runway, performance with whatever. That way you can learn to sell through your category or to incorporate different things, like the sellage of face into the category of performance. Or when if you walk runway primarily, you won't forget to also be beautiful in the face and not look busted in the face and to sell the entire, you can sell the entire package, right? It's just about being able to be mindful of your entire presentation in a barn kind of way. Does that make sense? being aware of your entire presentation. So I know a lot of people, and even when they're voguing, they have a, a cute little walk runway. Some people, when they're, I was actually at a ball in New York City and they called for a performance with face. Is there any difference between the way male figures walk face versus the way female, female figures do? Absolutely, I kind of touched on that a little bit earlier when I was trying to find a male figure to come on here and, um, and um, like do a demo but I could not find a butch, a willing butch queen participant. Um, but butch queen face, it just depends. There's different, there's different ways that I've seen butch queens really sell face. And it's like, there's more masculine ways of selling it. There's more flamboyant ways of selling it. There's some that are just butch queen, butch queeny, if that makes sense to you, like, kind of like that mid, that middle ground. Um, but I will look like boo boo the fucking fool if I try and do it myself right now. So I'm not even going to try. Um, <laughs> But it's the same thing. You kind of like, you know, like you want to like, <laughs> you kind of want to like show all the masculine things in your, <laughs> in your, <laughs> yeah, like your structure, your jawline. Um, oh, I know a lot of guys like will like they'll they'll clench their their jaw and try and show like that angular jaw kind of situation. Um, same thing with showing your structure, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, it's just not as, f usually, usually it's not as butterfly-y as like, you know, it's not as like, yeah, butterfly-ish. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. A lot of these guys like ch -ch -ch, all like angular and like chiseled. And they kind of sell it that way. Even if they don't have it like that, they do sell it that way. They're selling their angular, their angular stuff. That's what I've noticed. They've, there's a more so selling their angular stuff. The women are more so selling like the essence of, and the men are really selling like angles. Really, I noticed that they give a lot of angles. It's an old way cell versus a Vogue femme cell. Yes, Roxy. Roxy, I know you love me. <laughs> I know that. And I don't need you to bring your face on here if you're not comfortable. But a word from the legendary Roxy Miyake Mugler will bless us right now. If, if she could, that would turn it. That would really turn it for me. Can we all bust some hearts in this live for um, Roxy Miyake Mugler, please? Can we bust some hearts in here? Tap, 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 tap. All 24 of you, all 23 because she's a 24th. Can we tap and wait for get underscore into underscore Gant with two Ts? <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't deny me. She denied me. No! I'm calling again. Uh, is she cussing me? You're wearing your crest right now. She's wearing her crest whitening strips right now. She doesn't want to come on the live. Can someone walk face without all five elements of face and still get tens? Oh yeah, it happens every day. Do I think it's right? No. I don't think it's right. But people can really do anything. A bum off the street could have no teeth and walk face and get tens if, she, if, she, if the judges are on that crap girl. I've seen people walk face with scars on their face, craters, bumps, 
gap, um, like crooked teeth, not just not a cute gap, a crooked mouth, a busted mouth. I've seen people walking that they're uh, girls walking, they're both butch queens, actually boys and girls, you and everyone in between. You must be manicured, mani petty on all day. Like keep that shit cute. I don't. I, and I see people getting their tens, and they have black eyed peas on their nails. So. Really anything is possible out here, but is it right? No. But as Twisted said, you don't have to be expensive to some, you don't have to look expensive to some judges, but to me, if you're walking face, you should. Even if it calls for bring it as a bum, you better look like the most expensive bums of bums. But yeah, hopefully that answers all your questions. Um, Ralph, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm is a there voice. Anything, is there anything else you want me to cover? I can't really think of anything else. Um, I'm, I Skin mean, hair, water, sell it from the back, take your moments, walk up, chew it up at the, oh, and when you get to the judges panel, don't leave. You're selling face, not runway or anything else. When you get up here, stay up here until you hear tons across the board or one shot. Stay here, stay at the panel. Don't go back, bitch. Don't want to forget that. Yeah, Sorry. Maybe, maybe what I could do, maybe what could be fun. Do you want to call me and add me on Instagram? And then you could like coach me really quick about my own face. Yes! That could be a cute one. Let's do that. So I'll, I'll add you on to the um Van Vogue Jam. Yes. <laughs> the little tutor section, and then we'll, we'll then we'll call it a day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I wish I had contacted Nala too. Um, where are you? Why don't I see you? Yeah, I maybe mean, I can go. I can actually go on your request to join. Actually, so one second. Okay. Did you want to try? Come on, come on, support me. Come on, just be pretty. You're pretty already. Copy link. Yeah, and your teeth are white now, blood clot girl. Come on. Can you try to can you try to invite me again? Did it uh, work? I don't know. It's not working for some reason. It's weird. <laughs> oh, request. There we go. Okay. Where did it pop don't, up? Don't come for me. Oh, I see it. No, everyone here is going to be supportive. Be supportive or get the fuck off the live. <laughs> We're already all suffering through coronavirus. <laughs> Sorry, that's my echo. You both of them? You're good, you're good, you're good. They can hear me? Okay. Um, okay, so now we have Ralph who's going to go ahead and... Um, this is not the right, right. <laughs> Wait, but you need to have more of a runway space. Sorry? You need to have more of a runway space. I know. You need to come okay. from somewhere. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Luckily, I'm in this beautiful space we have. Uh, this is good. <laughs> that good? Wait, what is, hold on one second. What does Shailene say? Shailene's like, I'm going to go to the door face. Who said that? Who said that? Short Sorry. hair for female figures, walking face. It's too late for me, but I'm still curious. Shailene, first of all, if you can walk face with short hair, you have no idea how much I get up for you walking face, first of all. Second of all, if you can walk face with short hair and and two up the girls, you are on top of your game. It's better to have face with no hair than to have face and rely on your hair. I had Jasmine on a hair band. She cannot no, she can no longer wear weaves and wigs, uh, weaves, and wigs and ponytails because she was relying on that too much to sell it. And I don't want that to be a crutch for her management. Okay, Ralph, whenever you're ready, you're gonna create your moment in the back, sell, sell, and then take your time, take your precious sweet time. Don't come you, yeah. 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 Please, please be supportive. Let's give him some hearts. Let's tap that screen. It's free. It's free. It's free. Just tap the heart. It's free. I mean, Eric Colin Van just won 10,000 with short hair, exactly. And the girl that sat Lena. Okay, we're gonna pump the beat. The girl that sat Lena in New York City, um, I think it was last year or the year before, um, for face. She had short hair too. No, use your phone. The TV stays there. Oh, this is fine. 
So now we're going to, sorry, I'm trying to get the song. No, one shot. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. I can sense how nervous you are. You do okay. not feel like you own everything. Okay. You can relate to you and you rush to the whole thing. This is nothing. Okay. But this. Okay. Gives me something. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk it, milk it more. Even when you think you're taking too long, you're not. We are on your time, it's your moment. The whole ball should feel like it's revolving around what you brought to the what you brought to the table. Okay, cool. Let's do it again. Take your time, take your time, slower. Stop and milk it. Right. Come on, what's going on? Slower, take your time, take more intentional. Yes. Hands across the board for the first time. <laughs> that was so much better. Um, another thing that I forgot to um, forget, when you are spelling, okay? When you are spelling, so you're going to do um, the nose, the, this thing, right? You want to make sure you're going like this, right? Yeah. You want everything you're going to do, you're going to finish. 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 If you're going to touch your tip, finish. If you're going like, to go up your arm, Finish. Everything needs to finish. Everything. So if you're going to touch your, your your neck, don't just go like this. Touch your neck and let it finish. Dainty, dainty. Like, you know, touch yourself and let it finish. If you're going to touch your face, touch yourself and let it actually like finish somewhere. Like everything should finish. So it seems way more intentional than just flaking off. Right? Let's try it again. Okay. And then we got, I think we got to start closing up after that. We'll yeah, I'm good. All the way hands for the mill figures that they if they're selling trade, right. Horses and vibes. Right. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh. Laugh, laugh up a little bit. <laughs> right, your teeth in here, the profile of your teeth should be straight, right, you're smiling. Don't point at them, just, <laughs> there you go. And feel it more, feel the light, appreciate the light beating on your skin, those cheekbones, your eyes. And then you seal it with a smile, there you go. Three times across the board. Right. So basically, the way I do it, seal it with a smile. At the end of it, seal it with a smile, like a period. Thank That's it. So oh my god! Thank you so much. What an amazing class. Oh my gosh, I can't get over. Thank you for having me. Such a great teacher. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out today. Um, just want everyone to know we just actually put our info on our Instagram for our next ball. We're doing an online Kiki ball. July 29th as part of Vancouver Pride Society's uh, prizes. Um, lots of cash prizes, check it all out. We have some extravaganza as a judge, Snoopy, Ronvan, it's with Danielle Toronto, we got um, Isla Ebony judging, we also got Kevin Fraser from Vancouver, and we got a special Philippine judge, uh, Ms. Robbie in the Philippines as well. So come out. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Yes, please. Let's, let's, we'll kick you in a bit and um, just stay on the other chat. I'll turn off the live and we can keep talking. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank you guys for Bye. Bye. Dead. Just one second, Tamar. I'm just going to end the stream.